Okay, so there's a question on uh, how to do a chi-squared on the CTE thing. So so what I've got here is I, I've basically, oh, I'm just spinning up these numbers. But this is what was observed. This is what actually happened. I got four groups. I got non-football players, high school, college, and pro football players. And then uh, we count how many had CTE, how many had no CTE. So I got the totals for each category. And I got the totals for each group. So for the expected, what I would do, is I'd come in here and say equal to, and I'm going to take, uh, let me bracket this off, for CTE, if all things being equal, if all these groups there's no differences, it'd be 158 divided by the total number of uh, participants. Let me close that off. Then I'd multiply that by the total number of non-football players. Okay, and then I'd click on that. I expect to see about 30.78, whatever, right? It's okay if this is not discrete. Now for the non-CTTs, what I'd do is the same thing. I'd had a, um, 114 divided by, oh, let me bracket that off. Divided by the total. Let me start over here. Have 114 divided by the total number of participants, and then I'd multiply that by again by the total number of non-football players. Okay, again, it's okay if it's not uh, a, a discrete number. And I'm just going to do that for each one of these. So I take uh, so all things are equal. Basically, I'm saying I'd have 30.7 and 22.2 um, in these different categories if everything was equal amongst these four groups. So I'm just going to fill out this chart again. I'm going to pause here for a second. Okay, so what I did is I went ahead and, and filled out the rest of the columns, same way, right? You look at all these, same thing. So as a double check, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sum it up, make sure the totals are okay. It should be the same. Yep, and it is. Let me just go on down, double check. And then we sum these up. And this should be 158. And it is. And if I do the same thing here, it should be 114. Okay, so now I know I got it right. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and just do a chi-squared test. Um, so if I come in here and start off chi-squared test, right there would be it. And my actual range is there. And my expected range is here. I just close that off. Enter. So what this is saying is based on this data, and again, I generate these numbers, they're not real. It's 0 .000883 uh, per chance that uh, what I'm seeing here is random variation. Or put this in uh, perspective, 0 .08, 0 .09 uh, percent chance that this is random. Again, I just made these numbers up, uh, but if we use actual numbers, it'd be the same method.